Dig orbits. Crikey, what have we got here? It looks like a dino dig fossil kinetic sand. <laughs> what do you think of that? Good. Looks like we can do a dino dig with some kinetic sand, which we have yet to play with. We've seen and heard a lot of stuff about it. So this is gonna be our first time playing with kinetic sand. We can't wait to see what it's all about. Let's get into this box. Yeah, and build it. And build it. Uh, open. Open, babies. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, okay. Wow, it's colored. I thought it was actually gonna be a sand. Wow. Sand colored. We have two yeah. Okay, but I want to do blue. Okay, it looks like I somehow managed to open this box kind of backwards y upside down because it looks like this picture is supposed to go that way, obviously. There is a kind of skeleton laying in the fetal position there. Never dries out, it says. That's good. Well, what could that skeleton be? I don't know. Okay, play sandbox on a solid flat surface. Fold open lid. And then put the tab in there. The tab is on both sides, so now what? Let's do it then. Yeah, open it up and squish it into the thing. I go. Okay, can you dump it into the box? Yeah. Okay, we're supposed to squish it all around until it breaks up. Yeah, it is kind of weird. What do you think of this? Good. Now, I'm surprised that we got orange because on the box it showed more of a real sand color and it also showed it more filled up. This is barely covering, this isn't even covering the bottom of the box. So it's good they have a cool picture of a skeleton because that's kind of the only thing we're looking at here. Here's a dinosaur skeleton, a T-Rex one. Yep. This looks like Play-Doh. Yeah? Look, I made a ball. Okay, here's all the molds and things. Can I use my finger? Yeah, little dude will open it up. Okay, we have a chubby little T-Rex guy. Is that a T-Rex? Yeah. A pterodactyl skeleton, or actually it's just a regular pterodactyl, it's not a skeleton. We have a digging mechanism so yeah. we can dig for our dinos. <laughs> and we have some bones we can discover. Another T-Rex. Oh, that's cool. It's gonna be really hard to keep the blue and orange sand separate, but we'll do our best. Here, let mama try a guy really fast. That turns out really good. Lots of detail. Oh, wow, that is cool. It's just so detailed compared to Play-Doh, don't you think? Yeah. You can see everything. <laughs> Melt. Melt. Let's it together. Here comes the blue sand. It's probably not going to do a very good job of staying separate from the orange sand. Now I'm going to put a little bit of sand in the bottom of the pterodactyl mold. Now I'm going to put his skeleton, which lays in there perfectly. And my skeleton. You're doing the skeleton too. And then I'm gonna put sand over the top of the skeleton. If we're ready to dig it. We're ready to dig it. <gasps> Look at it. All right. Let's dig it. Okay, go ahead and dig yours. You've discovered a dinosaur skeleton. <laughs> I'm gonna dig this part. Okay, remember this is the one that I put the skeleton in. So there's how he looks. Whoa! You found a skeleton completely intact. We did dig it. We did dig it. Okay, so you can stick the skeletons in the molds to make digging action. You can also kind of just stick them here and then. <gasps> Look at this one I found. Oh, wow. I try and find this Yeah, one. you're a good <gasps> excavator. Or we can cover up this big skeleton on the bottom and dig for him. There's only one tool to dig for him. I've discovered a. T-Rex at the bottom of this sandbox. No bones. No bones. Let's put some bones in here. Put some, put some sand in there. Okay, let's check out this mixed blue and orange guy. Okay, now you can dig and excavate this T-Rex and look for a skeleton inside. I think I see one. But you can see his eye. <gasps> <gasps> Holy smokes! We found the skeleton! He's cool! Yeah! Let's do mine! <gasps> Let's excavate! <gasps> 
It's a bone. It's a bone. A big, complete skeleton. Perfectly intact. Bones are intact. Yes, the bones are intact. Okay, here's what they show us on the box. It did make it give the impression that the natural colored sand was gonna cover the entire bottom of the sandbox. Here's what it really looks like. It's not, not a whole lot of uh, similarity going on between here and here. A couple of other things. This is more natural bone colored and has some bone texture, which I would have liked better. This is yellow. That doesn't look the same. It looks even like there's more bones because there's a pterodactyl, T-Rex. Yeah, what's that one supposed to be? But if we're gonna try kinetic sand, might as well be dinosaur kinetic stand. Now our sand is completely mixed together, orange and blue. It claims it never dries out, so we should be able to keep it in the sandbox without any major repercussions. It should be able to stay in here nice and neat. That is really weird looking. It looks so fluffy like cotton candy or something. Okay, this was our first experience with kinetic sand. Let us know if you've ever played with kinetic sand in the comments down below and tell us which would win in a battle. Do you like kinetic sand better or Play-Doh better? And don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you would like to see us do more kinetic sand videos. Thanks for watching.